The festival known as Songkran in Thailand is a three-day shining that started Saturday and informally extends for a whole week, allowing people to travel for family celebrations. The holiday is also celebrated under different names in neighboring Myanmar, Cambodia and Laos, which like Thailand have populations that are predominantly Triveda Buddhist. Songkran is immensely popular, predicted this year to attract more than 500,000 foreign tourists and generate more than 24 billion baht, that is 655 million US dollar in revenue. Past Thai governments have been reluctant to call for dialing down the fun even during the crisis such as droughts and the pandemic. Though the festival originated as a way to pray for the rainy season that helped crops and included activities such as cleansing images of the Buddha and washing the hands and feet of elders, Songkran these days is now often associated with public drunkenness, sexual assault in the guise of merrymaking and a spike in traffic fatalities, noticeable to the point that the extended holiday has been dubbed the seven dangerous days. But this year, the unusual heat wave with expected record temperatures for the few months has triggered apprehension. The United Nations Children's Fund warned Thursday the sweltering weather could put millions of children's lives at risk, asking caregivers to take extra precautions.